All right, we back once again. It's been a long time. Uh, anyways, I wanted to show everybody some stuff. I've been learning a couple of things. Uh, just I haven't done a lot of videos lately. I kind of got out of the algo testing game. I know a lot of people kind of came to the channel for that, but uh, been upgrading. I think the um, trading knowledge, that kind of stuff. But I, I definitely am still a noob when it comes to what I'm about to talk about. And that is going to be the gamma exposure charts. Uh, these charts uh, currently are free in a certain Discord. I'm not going to give the Discord out just because I'm not sure if the owner of the Discord really wants a whole bunch of people kind of flooding. I'll have to check on that and see if they want a lot of people joining and stuff like that. But the he created essentially a bot. I'm going to show you guys what the chart looks like here. I'll just bring this over here real quick. He created essentially a bot that you can type in a command and it's going to give you the gamma exposure of the options chain um, going out. Uh, you can see the different expiries. So, for example, we've got you know this pink color here for March 11th, which is the Friday coming up. Um, four days to expiry. You got your gamma exposure, which is 2.36 million. You've got your put call ratio, and then you've got your skew. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of how to read all that just yet. That'll be coming in the future videos. It'll be coming when I've, I understand them a lot better so that I can speak with a little bit more authority. Uh, however, these charts have really, really helped the options trading game just because knowing where the gamma exposure is uh, will give you an idea of what the stock is capable of doing, where it's likely to go. Um, so for example, we've got Tesla pulled up here. Uh, what this, this chart is saying is it's basically saying that we have a volatility trigger here at 855. Meaning that if, stock, if Tesla stock is trading under this volatility trigger, dealers, the market makers, are essentially going with the market. So if the mark, if the stock is going down, they're adding to their shorts. If the stock is going up, they're buying their stock. Essentially, they're going with the market. Once it gets over the volatility trigger, they start doing the opposite of what the market is doing. So it's just nice to know that. Uh, what that and what that tells you is that as long as it's below the volatility trigger, whatever direction it ends up going is likely to continue. So, you know, right now we're under it uh, at 838. And if you watch the action on Friday with Tesla, it really couldn't get above this 855. And that's just because that's where that volatility trigger is. Another thing I really like about these charts here is that uh, it gives you the expected range for each expiry. So the expected range for Friday, this March 11th here, is essentially 895 and you come down here on the put side and you've got about the 780, 785. So we can expect a range here just based on just based on the calculations of where the gamma is. Uh, the next thing would be uh, looking at the exposure. Okay, so that, that March 11th exposure is this color here. Uh, so we got a lot of exposure here. Gamma, positive gamma exposure on the 900 meaning that's going to sort of act like a magnet for Tesla stock. However, it still has to get over this volatility trigger. So like I was saying in the Discord, I'm only interested in buying calls if Tesla is above 855 and if, you know, we can buy calls for this week, I wouldn't buy anything, you know, too far out of the money because, you know, it's only like 40 points away. So if the if the premiums are are decent, you know, you can be in some calls up to about 900 on Tesla. That's what this this is telling me. Uh, on the downside, if we're below this 855, I'm targeting these levels here. This has a little bit of positive gamma, positive gamma on uh, below here. So um, this would be a, an 815 would have to go. Um, but even so, you've got the put gamma here uh, showing uh, for the expected range low, essentially. So not a lot of space to work with here on the chart on, on there. So let's look at the chart here for Tesla real quick. Hold on, I was about to uh, was about to go long this real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 
So let's look at the chart for Tesla. And I kind of uh, painted a little bit of a picture here based on the expected range and that kind of stuff. Um, so let's just kind of remove most of that. So here's the ex expected range. Here's the big gamma exposure levels here, 900 and 800. And then here's the volatility trigger, this 855. And then I put in some, you know, points of control in here, like just whatever. Uh, so, you know, what we're expecting here, can we see, can we see it down to 775 possible? If we're below this volatility trigger, I would only be interested in puts on the upside. I would only be interested in calls. Uh, so very interesting to see that. Let's look at, here's this, the regular GEX level. So this was the GEX chart for the net gamma at each level. Now we've got just total or now we've got the net gamma at each level from a different perspective. This is just for uh, just for Friday. See, this is going to show you total gamma, total net gamma for all the expiries going out 98 days. And this is going to be just for March 11th. So we can take another look at the, the basically the weekly range. It already prints that on there for you. Kind of gives you all these uh, you know metrics. You know what's what's the uh, put versus call. It looks pretty even. Uh, and then we got our, our gamma exposure being uh, essentially positive. You know, you'll see a lot of charts where this is negative, like really negative. Um, that's going to be a, a kind of a, a really bad thing for a stock. This is positive. It's not that positive for being Tesla, being only 2.3 million. Uh, but that that's a good thing for upside. Again, we only really want to see this um, above this volatility trigger. It is above the volatility trigger for for Friday essentially and we can kind of see where that lines up uh, being at you know about this level here where they've got that positive gamma here so uh, that makes sense to me again I'm not the expert on this so if I'm saying something if you're a freaking market maker or something out there and you know this way better than me let me know in the comments but uh, this is how I've been using it to pretty decent success it's kept me out of a lot of bad trades and it has uh, given me a lot of good trades and so um, another thing too that I like is this max pain level. It just puts that right there in the chart as well because this max pain level is very important. A lot of times that's going to act as a magnet as well. If the stock goes above this max pain, it's going to it's going to try and trend towards it just in general. Unless you've got some crazy gamma squeeze going on. A, a normal market like 80% of the time uh, what you'll see is like Tesla trade up to 900 and then start trading back down to to the 860 you know unless this picture changes which we want to check this every day so tomorrow this picture might totally change and then we get some levels way up here uh, that start drawing Tesla a little bit higher but as of right now this would be the essentially like the point of control to the upside the point of control to the downside that's the way I look at it and that's why your expected ranges are kind of set up that way because they're they're essentially um, the expected ranges I would say is kind of taking like the 70% rule of a volume profile and putting it into the gamma exposure. So hopefully this makes some sense. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. If you have more questions on this, I will do more videos and I will see if I can get you guys. It's free. I just don't know if I want, you know, if he wants me to have, you know, the Discord being flooded with a bunch of people. So I'll, I'll check and see if I can leave the link in the description so you guys uh, can see it. You can see it right here. It's the Investors Haven uh, Discord. So I don't know if you guys can find it and join it. Uh, but if, if he lets me, I'll put a link in the description in the next video. So anyways, peace.